Hello and welcome to this video on the importance of setting in Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Just a short video, but there are a few interesting things to pick out about setting. On a few occasions, Jane Austen uses the settings in her novel for symbolic or metaphorical effect. In chapter 10, whilst at Netherfield waiting for Jane to recover, Elizabeth takes a walk in the grounds with Mrs Hurst. At the same time, Caroline Bingley and Mr Darcy are taking a walk too, and the four meet in the gardens, and Mrs Hurst immediately abandons Elizabeth, taking the disengaged arm of Mr Darcy. Now, setting is used as a metaphor when we next read that the path admitted just three. What does this mean? Mrs Hurst means to leave Elizabeth out of the walk that she now wishes to join Darcy and Miss Bingley in. Now, if you picture the scene, it's easy to spot the symbolism. Darcy, Mrs Hurst and Miss Bingley are all equals in terms of class and social sort of position, and therefore they'll walk side by side. Elizabeth, who's beneath the others in terms of social class, must be forced to walk behind them. Of course, Mr Darcy spots this and plans to take a different route where all can walk as equals, because he's just a nice guy like that. In chapter 43, Elizabeth visits Pemberley, the home of Mr Darcy, and the description is probably the strongest moment of symbolism in the entire novel. They gradually ascended for half a mile and then found themselves at the top of a considerable eminence, where the wood ceased and the eye was instantly caught by Pemberley House, situated on the opposite side of a valley into which the road with some abruptness wound. It was a large, handsome stone building standing well on rising ground and backed by a ridge of high woody hills, and in front a stream of some natural importance was swelled into greater, but without any artificial appearance. Its banks were neither formal nor falsely adorned. Elizabeth was delighted. So think about how the setting here reflects the character of Mr Darcy. Just like Pemberley, Darcy is without any artificial appearance, i.e. he doesn't act differently to the way he truly is. He might be abrupt, he might be proud and at times, but he is honest and, and sort of he doesn't act a certain way in front of people and then another way behind closed doors. Similarly, he's not falsely adorned, meaning he's not decorated. He is what he is. And the meaning is clear. Darcy is blunt and abrupt, but at least he's honest and open, not behaving in a certain false manner just because of who he's around. Elizabeth's reaction to this setting foreshadows her upcoming feelings about Mr Darcy himself. The quote is, Elizabeth was delighted. Now at the end of the novel, she jokes to Jane that she fell in love with Darcy upon first seeing his beautiful grounds at Pemberley. Although this is a joke about marrying for wealth, which is something we know that Elizabeth nor Austen herself would do, there's also a metaphorical meaning here. It could be that Elizabeth, upon seeing the gardens and grounds, realises that Darcy is honest, open and trustworthy. So there's a real symbolism in the whole uh, environment. And that's a couple of the ways that setting is used in the novel. Just a short video. Um, if you want more information, do pick up my revision guide using the link in the description.